NGB wants me to be here, so now I'm here. Not NGB, sorry, it's not Zesty Salsa, it's NZS. For some reason, I thought it was NGB. Hey, all right, how's everybody doing? Alex, Rust of Us, not Zesty Salsa, Tefram, Mighty Fine Shindig, Talisman Solutions, Bug Whisper, Clavier. I think that's everyone. Oh, and Devness and Smurf Patrol. How was the weekend, everybody? Chinese New Year tomorrow? Or Lunar New Year for you non-Chinese Asians out there? Or non-Chinese East Asians? Although... Your ancestors were Chinese at some point. So... Suck it, it's Chinese New Year. <clears throat> Sleep Sin, good to see you here as well. So who else is, hey, Drifting Bunnies. Who else is gonna celebrate tomorrow? I mean, I just have classes. I think I'm gonna skip my evening class because fuck it. Uh, maybe I should ask my brother if he's doing oh, anything. Yeah. Chewy, 10 months. So this means you have to go to the Dallas meetup with me now. Shit. I'll ask someone with more months to tell me not to go. And I think that'll override it. But thank you so much, Shuri. I appreciate it. Okay. So we have a few things to unbox today. Uh, we'll see. So, definitely want to get this done. This first thing done first. This first thing out. Whatever. I'm going to get this first thing done. Uh, because I have to ship it out. Hopefully by Wednesday. And then... Once you get this done... No, hold on. Do, do, yeah, once you get this done, we have the carbon desk mats. And if we have time, so if the stream is less than two hours, we'll open up the keyblade as well. VPR, yes, it is transmitting right now. My... Family already celebrated it, kind of. They went to a Malay restaurant to eat, and that was it. Celebrate Year of the Pig by Johnny Hamon. Yes, and it's red. That's the best part. And you know how much the Chinese love pork. Uh, most of them, you. not all of them. Alex, 11th month, wait. How does that work? I thought you had a 12 month and then with the 15 point five thousand bits. How does that how does that work? I thought I saw 12 months last stream. Anyway, and NGB as well, 12 months in a row, look at that. NGB tell me not to go to the Dallas meetup. Uh let's see, who else? I haven't opened my carbon desk mat because I want to see. Okay, alright, yeah, so we'll do that. Let me Oh wow, look at this. So this thing is new. And Chase as well. Two months. What my dude? Yes, indeed. Yes, my dude. So, brand new. We're gonna tear... That ass up. The Master Keys ass. To change this up, yes. So, now they it'll show if you don't have it in a row, you it'll show how many months total, and then you have the option to show how many months in a row, I think, or something like that. Look at that purple, also 10 months, and deafness of nine months. Oh, is it just redoing everything from last stream as well? Maybe I'm so confused. I think so. Well, yeah, thank you so much. Oh, it's bugged. Okay, that's fine. It's a bonus shout out to everyone. And hopefully, you know, just don't tell everyone it's bugged. Hopefully, it'll peer pressure people to, to, to hit that subscribe button. You gotta join the hype. Slobs alert. I don't use slobs, actually. I use uh, the regular OBS Studio. Slobs is way easier to set up, but I'd already started with 
the with OBS Studio, and then slobs didn't show up until maybe months or a year later, and so I can't just transition everything. I think it doesn't work too well for what I needed to do. Uh, I think with multiple cameras, it's better to use OBS Studio, something like that. But yes, slobs is has way less bugs and it's so so much more straightforward to set up. So this thing, I've had it for months and months now. Uh, this one has PBT keycaps, it's a TKL board, and C layout. <laughs> ANSI, uh, ANSI layout. And it's got Cherry MX Browns. Uh, I mean, kind of a typical gaming keyboard, right? It's got, but no LEDs. For me, it's either you go full on RGB or you don't put LEDs in it. I actually quite, I actually don't like uh, pre-built boards with, with uh, in-switch LEDs. Okay, hundred because for most people who are getting pre-built boards, they don't know how to solder or they don't have the equipment to solder. They don't have the time to deal with that shit. That's why they go pre-built. And if you have LEDs and they go bad or they die, good luck trying to get those replaced. Okay, so it has Cherry MX switches. Superior PBT keycaps. Thicker, more durable, more shine resistant, and more satisfaction than standard. Oh, they misspelled it. They say ABT caps. Okay, and it's got on the fly macro support, N key rollover. N key rollover is actually quite nice. Uh, I think. On standard QMK boards, it's six, is it? I know on boot mapper, most of them are six. Uh, and then a lot of them, if you turn on N key rollover, it kind of messes with some things. And then switchable layouts, you can swap to QWERTY, Dvorak, Workman. I don't even know what Workman is. And then uh, Minimalist, blah, 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 blah. Okay. And it's made in Taiwan. Uh, apparently, this is made in the same factory uh, it's where they make Philco boards. So that's kind of cool. Okay, who else is here? Also, just say boot. Hello, hello. Get quick, get everyone, get your bonus shout outs. Yes, do that. Get your money's worth. All right, so we've got, I mean, we're not gonna really look at this. Let's be real. We're not gonna do anything like that. We're, we're just swapping into the case, and I'll show the case off in a bit. We'll, we'll look at the keyboard first, real quick. And we'll do a quick typing test and we'll see how that compares to the metal case. We've got a cable. I'm, do we want to plug it in? I don't really care for plugging it in. You know what? I'm going to leave it. Maybe I'll leave it aside. The cable is quite nice. Oh, it's a micro. So that's probably the first thing that annoys me. But. If you're gonna put a metal case on your board, you're not gonna be unplugging your board very often anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, and another thing is it has the cable raceways, I think that's what they're called, right? So that's nice. I This is something I actually wish custom keyboards would do. I actually quite like this thing. Hides the connector and it makes everything sturdier. So yes, this is nice. You know what you could do? If you could make centered and then either to the sides or two more over here so that people have options. Cause I, you know how I don't like center USB. So, so if you could just do, just another two here on custom boards, that would be quite nice. So, okay, let's, I'm not gonna, it's got, you know, feet and all, I'm not gonna do that. I don't like, uh, first of all, it's not ergonomic, and second, doesn't sound as nice. Oh, wow, see, unmodded, ooh. Wow. Oh. Oh my god. 
Yeah, a lot of keys are not inserted fully. What happened to the down arrow? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think I... Did I drop it somewhere? I'm so confused. I don't see it here. Does anyone see it? I don't have it here. I mean, I can show... Oh, here it is. It's in the foam. So, I guess the keycaps are really loose, maybe? Let's see. Can I... Yank one of these off. Well, the keycaps are too smooth, so I can't do that, but... Seems like... Then again! Let's be real, no one's really gonna use these stock keycaps, right? Yes, they are quite loose. So maybe they'll work with box switches. Hey, if you have box whites or any other box switches, maybe. All right, so we know that the stabilized keys are gonna sound terrible because they're not modded, but. This is actually one of the better sounding uh, stock boards. Cause, because, let me see if I can find it. I'm looking for, I have a Cooler Master, there we go, it's right here, alright, alright. Did they just change the name or I think, I think they are different. QFR. This is not the first one that I got. That one I actually gave away to my younger brother. Case looks pretty much identical. Actually the case is identical I think. Look at that. The plastic is different though. So this is a rougher texture the new one has a nice rougher texture this one has a smooth texture yeah so this one i bought used as well it's coming out the closet Just say boots, it sounds better than my keyboard. Yeah, this space bar is terrible, terrible, terrible. See, both pretty bad. Thoughts on the NYM96? No idea, I have not seen one in person, the NYM boards. I am interested in the NYM84. It looks like a bigger chibi basically. I've thought about getting it, but I don't know. The thing is, they don't show you anything. They don't show you what the PCB looks like. They don't show you what the underside looks like. They don't even show you the underside. I have no fucking clue what the bottom looks like for that board. So that's why I haven't bought one yet. Okay. Um, so this is... The big difference is, of course, you've got the NCS. Wait, it's got a G key now instead of a num lock. What the fuck is that? I guess maybe it's game mode. Games lock or something. I don't know. 
or maybe gamer mode is what it is maybe i don't think it's too important do we care about it window lock maybe or like maybe when you're recording macros anyway it doesn't matter but oh okay so let's not waste too much time you know stand aboard let's take it apart so I have to break the seal always exciting I hope I don't have to take apart the oh wow what it just fell right through Oops. And I believe there should be one in here, maybe. thing apart where is my sponger tool the VPR says I like how the control and alt from mass job put two USB ports one on the left one on the right so you can choose which side you want and then the other unused one functions the password see that's the thing that's what that's what I like about People like to hate on on Masterop, on Logitech, Cooler Master, even Razer, uh, Corsair, you know. But they actually put functions and and have features into a board that people will actually use, right? That's something I will actually use with the pass through and the two USB ports. So yeah, even though you know, they make they make quite a few poor decisions on, on you know, uh, making it sound good or, or make making making it look nice, which is subjective. But but yeah, they actually think about features. And don't get me started on programming your keyboards as well. You know, let's be real. It's way easier to to you know, these big companies know. Okay, UI UX has to have to be number one. People have to not be intimidated when they try to program their boards and stuff like that why won't this last one come out okay there we go okay so just one screw that's nice so if you are getting this thing oh i forgot to mention if you are interested in this thing let's look at the page for it i completely forgot i'm gonna put the link in chat uh, this is not an affiliate link i wish it were maybe i should ask for one but this is being sold right now uh, on Originative. We could try the. I wonder if the QFR works in here. Good question. But let's look at the page. Is it going to show the right monitor? We'll find out. Hey, it did. Okay. So $260 for the board and the case. It comes with the, the board new and then the case, I think. Let me see. Yes. There's no option to buy just the case over here. I think, yeah, it'll come with that. So, I mean, and I think right now you only get browns, I want to say. Yes. So, they only have cherry browns in stock, which, I mean, honestly, is not the end of the world because the other switches here are quite bad anyway. Uh, let's. Maybe silvers aren't terrible, but. And maybe greens aren't the worst thing. Still quite bad blue as well so if you're getting this i would recommend a, a switch swap if you want something else you're mainly getting this for the case uh, this is going to be you know 
in the same ballpark as a KV8X. So it depends on what you want. This one you're stuck with this standard TKL layout. And but if you don't want to build the whole thing, maybe this is an option for you. Because once you do switch swapping and stuff, you know, and you, it's kind of like building already. So I don't know. This is not mine. So this is a sample from, I think this is a prototype, but it's a sample from Originative. So I'm supposed to pack it up, ship it out to another reviewer. That's why I'm doing this today. And so this thing just came up the page. So check it out if you want. It's not affiliate link, so it doesn't matter if you buy it or not. So, oh, see the keycaps are so loose. It's just fall right out. More screws. Votex D, welcome to the stream. And Purple says, if I get NIM96, please unbox it for me. Sure. I would definitely want to do that. I, I definitely want to check it out. Because, like I said, I've been interested in the NIM84, uh, which is 75% version. But, yeah, I don't know, you know what the compatibility is, whether I can use another PCB. Does it have RGB underglow? Does it not have RGB underglow? Is the bottom... Metal or plastic, who knows? Can I do platelet? Plateless. Can I not? So oh wow, these are tiny ass screws. How do I even holy shit, that is a really small Phillips head screw. The gamer says, I wish there are pictures of the silver. Well, you don't need the pictures because that's what I have over here. I have the silver. So we are looking at the silver today. And we'll find out how good it is. Ron DG says, NIM96 is all metal. You can do plateless, no RGB on the glow. Okay, do you know what the compatibility is with PCBs? For the uh, NIM84, I don't really care for the 96. Bare bones. Okay, see, here's what I'm talking about. This is what's infuriating. Name 84. It shows you the board. Oh my god, the gap over in the top. I guess it's because they didn't center it properly. See how tiny the gap is on the bottom? And on the right side. And <laughs> there's this big gaps over here. So they didn't center it properly. So yeah, you have no fucking clue. What the bottom looks like. You don't know where the screw points are as well. I guess you know that it's uh, A, S, D, F, G, between G and H. This is just nothing. There's literally nothing that shows the bottom. Another guy. He finally built a board and he can show it off. Doesn't have the underside. Uh, oh. Well, that's. Hold on. I think that's not the standard tray mount 80, uh, 75. <sighs> Let's see. Let's see oh okay it is I think maybe hopefully top looks the same
Oh no. It has one here, but the standard one has it over here after the second key. So it might not be standard. Fuck. Anyway, I don't know why we're talking about this. We're talking about the... Talking about this thing. Uh, I need a smaller screw head. There we go, this works. But yeah, so this guy built the NIM84 and he didn't show the bottom as well. Run DG, the K75 has one on the left side. Uh, I think the, hold on. Oh, I'm still showing the display. Hold on, let's see. Does it use the new? PCB actually see the new one has the same in the left sort of v2 the v1 which is what which is based on the boot mapper PCB has it on the second set the second switch after the second switch whereas the v2 PCB now has it on the first one I actually am looking for a, a, a v1 I don't want the v2 PCB I don't want the fucking numpad over here because you can't do playlists with that, so you can't. The switches will just be very loose. Yeah, because if I do it, I want it to be playlist, and if the PCB isn't not standard, I will have to use uh, another PCB. Regala Panda, how's it going? Crippled is here as well. Purple says, I've been trying to New Jersey for work. I've been wanting to catch up with you for a while on that quest for, yes. And meet up this Friday. So, or Saturday, Saturday. So, if you do it, I know Juan Emilia is coming down to Dallas. If you do go, we sh I, I'll, I'll try to go. About to go eat some pizza. Papa Murphy's. Very nice. I was afraid it was going to be Papa John's. Oh, let's check out the case. Actually, let's put the... Oh, okay, so it's two pieces. It's in the case design that I don't really... You know how I feel about, you know, typical top and bottom cases. In this case, <laughs> I guess it kind of makes sense because a sandwich would be the easiest way to make something like this work. Although... Mm, you know what? Uh... I don't know. I think I think there could still be other ways. This is the simplest way to get it to work. Uh, and probably the simplest way to see to machine it as well. But yeah, I you know how I'm not a fan of this seam over here. You know whether it's on a cheap board or on an expensive board, I don't like it. But it is what it is. Anodizing. This is a Norbauer case. So we'll look at anodizing when we put the board in. So we're doing an internal swap and so far it's pretty simple. Right? You take off one screw to get the case apart you, and then you take off another four screws to get the plate and the connector out. So Okay, I see. This thing goes here, and we have to screw it down. So, yep, 
And you can see that the connector is shielded, which is very nice to see. Look at that. Definitely over-engineered. I mean, not over-engineered. It's just to go the extra mile, right? It's not over-engineered because it, it, it does something. Makes it more secure. All right. Oh, I hope it fits. Okay, it does. <laughs> not making a not date. We're gonna wait until after Chinese New Year to get a board. North Factory quality issues. So, which boards did that, or cases did that affect? By the way, for the uh, also what face? I love you. Did these screws not work? Goyal, twelve months in a row, a whole year, my friend. From the other side of the world, I say chocolate started all, and it's still here. It's still here. It's still here. All right, so I wonder what it is. The so the screws for the connector don't work. Uh, what went wrong? I guess maybe there are supposed to be other screws, but yeah, this definitely doesn't work. It's not threading at all. I did not get all the screws for the no bar case. I think because that's how it arrives uh, from the factory. Uh, this is pretty much straight from the. Uh, it has all the factory factory packaging still. Uh, but yes, I think these are not the correct screws. So let me see. Yeah, definitely not. I wonder what would fit then. Yeah, these holes are too big. Or the screws are too small. That's usually the problem. This is too thick. Yeah, so. Oh well. We'll just leave that inside, I guess. We could try to just tape it down for now. So let's do that, shall we? Love. there's anything that will hold this in place because it looks like there was oh my god the keycap so loose well time to find out and I only have two screws for the top of the case also I didn't get the cone feet for it That's an amazing name. Holy pandas aren't great. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. I agree. I agree, but. It's okay, this is a, this channel is a safe space. What about the T1 from KBD? So I heard that there are problems with it, right? That the metal gold leaf contacts are having problems. So 
I think they are sending replacements and stuff. They're trying to get it fixed. But again, it's why you should try to avoid buying uh, first round anything from KD fans. Honestly, I've been I've been burned a few times, so I, I would know. Beadlocks, how's it going? And Lyrex uh, as well. Anyone join a drop for the... Ooh, they're talking about the NYM96. Okay, so Norbauer, yes. He will include screws. Again, this is not from Norbauer. This is from Originative, and they shipped it to me in the fac factory packaging. This is way before. This was months and months and months before the page came up. So, typically, here's how it works. With uh, custom keyboards and stuff like that. The place that CNC's your boards are not going to provide you with the screws. They'll maybe send you some screws that'll hold the parts together. So the bare minimum to hold things together, and that's it. And they're typically really low quality. It's just basically just to hold things together. Because they're not a screw factory. They might screw you. That's the that's the OEM that, uh, or the factory that Zondad uses. So, they, they, it won't include screws. And so, even at the group by runners and stuff like that, they have to purchase their own hardware, their own screws to go with the whatever case that they're manufacturing and plates and all that. So, same thing here. Factory that Nobar uses to include the screws, most likely. And so, either Nobar or Originative will have to purchase the screws and they will include them when you, when you get the, the case. So, this one, again, isn't like that because I'm receiving mine you know, I received mine way before the retail page even came up. Uh, but, oh no. So yeah, so I only have two screws. Uh, so, this won't be a perfect show, unfortunately. Yeah, so I can't even secure the entire thing. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the screw sizes are as well, so I don't... I don't know if I have anything that can go in here. Yeah, I just have two screws to put in the corners, and that's it. Maybe I could put them in the... I could move them. I heard Home Depot has screws too. Yes. Safe space unless you hate onions. Oh, absolutely. If you hate onions... You just hate the world, and there's no space for that over here. If you hate onions, you're gonna hate everyone else. Basically a sociopath. I love a good screw, oh yeah. The harder the better. Z Frontier screws real good. If you like good screwing, I recommend them. Oh yes. Yes, indeed. You can ask Devness and VPR. They got screwed by the same... Same vendor. Striker, happy Chinese New Year to you. What are, what are you up to right now? Chinese New Year morning stream. Why are you watching this stream, dude? Thanks for the resub. 13 months. Okay, so I'm putting them in the middle, but now we have... Do I have any screws that might work? Anything, literally anything. I'm gonna dig through my pile of screws. Two more screws would be would go a long way in securing the the case.
<laughs> but you have some KBD fan screws. Oh yes, I have a lot of those. Very tiny and thin and soft. I love you. And panel water, seven months in a row. Thank you so much. He says the guy said he'll send out the switches this week for Zephyr. Very nice. So when I get it, we will do that next week. Then we'll do the build next week. So next Friday. This Friday we're trying to do that KBD's 8X. Okay, so let me see if I have any of these screws here the same size. This is why I like when custom boards just use kind of similar screws. Then you can just kind of, then you can just swap around. Hey, this one is pretty much the same. I only have one of these though, that's the problem. Do you and your homies ever do this? You compare your your uh, length and girth, and then to compare the girth, you touch them together. All right, because you can't tell. You can lay them side by, you can, you know, lay them side by side, but it doesn't really tell you all the information you need. You gotta touch the tips to see if they're the same. It's pretty standard procedure, I'd say. So I have one of these. Do I only have one? The others are not the same. The others are all longer. Ooh. Been size queen. Uh, yeah, the others, I think, not the same. The others are longer and... Oh, they're the same size, but yeah, they are longer. I think. Yes. So, let's do... What was it? This one here, right? <laughs> Homosexual. Yes! Absolutely natural. Get with the program. Whoa. Okay, so we don't want to over screw this one, we want to under screw it. Are they really homies that they refuse to touch tips? I would be appalled if any of my homies were to say no. You can't you can't hang out with friends like that, man. This is what round is this? So this is the one that's on originative. So you buy it from original. Maybe I should have put that in the title actually. Uh, let me put the link in chat again. Striker says he's working on Chinese New Year. What? That is an outrage. Alright, we've got some screws and so you'll see that these two holes here are where you put the feet so they will screw in from inside and 
And this is where you screw in for the connector, but uh, we don't have the correct size for that. So, oh well. But, uh, we're gonna put rubber feet on it. So, they didn't include rubber feet, but I have some over here. So, we're just gonna use mine again. I'm assuming if you buy from Originative, they will include it. Again, uh, I'm going to be quite clear. I got a prototype sort of thing, so I'm going to get the rubber feet. Where the hell did I put the rubber feet? Monkey Spittle, how's it going? It says, I love that case. It's not bad. I personally am not a big fan of the design, but I know it's subjective. A lot of people like No Bar's designs. I think some of them look better than others. Uh, this one is like your standard No Bar look. I'm not a big fan, I think. They look a bit too basic for or industrial is the word I'm looking for. Oh my god, why won't this thing go in? What? Is it not standard sizing? What the hell? I love you. <laughs> what well, really? So I think it's time for me to talk to your parents about my intentions. Happy anniversary. Oh yes, thank you so much. Wait, 10 months, so that's not an anniversary. You lied. Ten months, Zuri? Okay, so these feet don't fit. I guess maybe the cutouts are too tight. I don't know who's wrong here. Yeah. That. So I have to cut all the. You know what? Okay. We'll do it. Fine. We'll do it. So I'm going to assume the feet that they send you will actually fit in here. But these, the ones I have, are pretty standard. They're supposed to be the right size, but the cutouts are a bit too tight. And for the astute viewers out there, you will see oh, that yeah. it has two cutouts for the rubber feet. So if you have bigger ones, the bigger bump ons you can put them here. And then you have the ones that this these size, which is what I have, the smaller size, and you can put these in the four corners. Or yeah, if you want the bump bigger bump ons and then with the big conical feet. Zoology is finally back! Subscribe for ten months. It's good to see you, old friend. Where have you been? And one of many says Month, by month 12, you should be knocked up. Got to get the good times out of the way. Yeah, so we shouldn't talk to the parents yet. We should wait until like, But we, you, you have grandkids. That's, that's good news, right? Life pro tip. If... If you're in high school or middle school, whatever you do you, we live in a modern world. And your parents don't like your girlfriend or boyfriend. Get a kid. Make a kid. And then you, you tell them, you know, parents want grand, grandkids, right? That's what they, what, that's just all they want. So, if, if they don't approve of your relationship, simple. Have a child and then you break it to them that way. By the way, guys, I've got good news.
Or if you're cheating on your husband or wife, same thing. Have a kid. Tell your spouse. So hey, we don't have to go through the trouble of actually giving birth to the kid. <laughs> Surprise, honey. Isn't that amazing? Oh well, I guess if <laughs> I guess if you are a, a, the the woman in that relationship, and then you will have to give birth to it. it doesn't work the same, huh? Beatlock says you can be like people from my hometown, date for a year, get knocked up, and then trying to get married. See, that's why people in rural areas or you know like Abilene people get married so young. They date for less than a year and they get married because you know how bad and evil, evil, that's capital E, capital V, capital I, capital L, to have premarital sex. And so, <laughs> I hope, I hope they don't link this as the promo content for this case uh, <laughs> or they skip past this part and no one notices. But yeah, so they get married young, really early, and then have a kid. And so a lot of them divorce really young as well. Like, uh, I knew people, you know, before we even graduated college, and these are people who are like 22 years old, and they've already been divorced for a year. And monkey sp spittle, this is not crystal or china or plastic. This is aluminum. Aluminium. I can't believe I used to say aluminium and then now I'm starting to say aluminium. That's bad. Real bad. I didn't get a say in it. I just got influenced. Peer pressured. Get it? I I didn't get a say in it because there's no I. So we put rubber feet on here. Uh, I'm assuming. I don't know if. I think it should come with risers. It should come with the feet. Wait, 10 months is aluminum? Wait, what are we talking about? Talk about the case, right? What about the 10 months? I am loosening the screws because I need to line up the case properly between the top and the bottom. Oh my God. It's taking quite a bit longer than I thought. Oh, oh, to the Munchery. Oh, oh, I thought you were asking about the case. I'm so confused. That makes a lot more sense. All right. So this is why I don't like this too. It's just top and bottom design because it's so hard to line this shit up. Bothers me, it should bother you. Unfortunately, it doesn't bother a lot of people. Fuckbot, welcome, welcome, welcome. The design should be self-aligning. It should be, but tolerances can be a hell of a drug. And so, it does have parts that help you align the parts, but it's not perfect. You have to, you know, it'll align it to maybe 75% or 80%, and you have to do the rest of the work.
silicone anniversary. Oh, oh, oh boy, oh boy. In Korea, apparently, it's quite common to for parents to give their daughters a face job. Uh, for their 16th for 18th birthday. Interesting. Surgery, plastic surgery. I think most businesses call it blowjob. I think that's when you use the face. Uh, okay. So I put the rubber feet on here at least. Uh, so the other reviewer, good luck to him. He'll have the rubber feet on here already. Now to check out the case. Okay, so I know some of you are suffering in the freezing weather, but here in Dallas, it is in the high 70s outside. It was 78 degrees Fahrenheit in my room. So that's about 26 or 27 degrees Celsius. Warm as fuck. Uh, so I had to turn on the AC and then I'm turning it off because it's distracting. Oh, hey, look at this. You got some gamer keys. Gamer keys. Actually, do have a micro USB here, but whatever. It is substantially heavier. I'll give you that. Uh, we can go ahead and weigh it first. Actually, it is very. Very, very heavy. Ooh. So this is with the stock keycaps, four pounds, six ounces. A bit lighter than I thought, but still. It is almost two kilograms, 1.989, so very close. Maybe if you put SA keycaps, it'll actually bump it over to the to, to, to two kilograms. Ouch. And let's compare it to a, you know, QFR, which is quite similar. So this is gonna be close to the standard weight. Two pounds. So you double up in weight, uh, 913 grams. So yeah, so if you so if you get the aluminum case, then yes, you basically get two keyboards uh, worth of weight. Cement anniversary when she finds out how much money spent on keyboards. Curb feels real nice. The question is always where to buy the wife the boobs first or the girlfriend? Do you mean buying boobs for the girlfriend or do you mean buying the wife the boobs or buying her the girlfriend? Or why not both? When you're 60% is heavier, yeah. So let's type on it real quick and then we'll check out the anodizing. We'll check out the dimensions, the CNC. I have some things to say about it.
It pings. Let's try it with GMK, shall we? So this is what I'm concerned about, the ping. You can, if you can hear it on stream, through the mic and you know, and through your headphones, or that means it's even more perceivable, perceptible, 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 right? But yes, you, it's more noticeable in person for sure. Ah, wow. <laughs> definitely. And. The Rama 6, M60 without the internal way had the same problem. So, with, yeah, without the internal weight, it has the same problem. And that one's actually might even be even might even be worse than this one. But so, what I would recommend if you get this thing, if you buy from Originative, both to add to the weight, if you think four pounds is or four, yeah, four pounds is lightweight, and you don't want the ping. Put sobrafane in it in the bottom, uh, definitely with uh, either a plastic a layer of plastic on top or tape. But yes, in the top. So let's compare it to the plastic version, and again. These are stock MX Browns, so the thing you're looking for is not purely, oh, how does it sound? Because, you know, the switch is going to play into that. The thing you want to look for is how hollow it sounds, whether or not it's a nice hollow, because, you know, sometimes you want that, sometimes you don't want that, depending on what kind of switches and keycaps you're going to use. And the sound you're trying to achieve. And so the things you want to look for, it's not just how it sounds finally, but to compare it, you want to find, you know, is it more echoey? Is it less echoey? Uh, is it ping more? That one I think is like pretty much, you know, if it pings more, it's worse. Like, you know, that's pretty objective, I think. Unless that's, you're trying to make the world's most annoying keyboard. So let's compare these. Here's what we can do. I'm not a smart man. Oh, right to okay. It's 
bought the PCB very nice. That $45 Fiat. And yes, honestly, I would. Beatlocks, if you ask me what I would do, I would rather get the 8X. You know how I feel about building, you know, custom keyboards. I think that, you know, uh, most of the time it's going to be better. Almost every time. But again, so this is for, if this is what you're looking for, you don't want to build something or you don't know, you don't want to pay for someone to do it. Or if you live somewhere where it's just going to be difficult to, to ship things around, then again, you are going to ship something from the U.S. to you. So if you want to pre-build or you already have this keyboard, well, then that doesn't really do anything as well because it comes with the keyboard. But yeah, so definitely not for most people in chat. I don't think so, but we'll look at the anodizing. It's good to at least check out the anodizing. So I've swapped the keycaps over. So now this is ABS, this is PBT, and then we set PBT here and ABS here. So I'm trying to make it accurate. So this definitely has a more hollow sound and this has a very pingy sound. And again, I'm not gonna try a sorbothane today because then we're gonna run out of time if by the time we try to cut the sorbothane out and everything, it's just gonna waste a sheet of sorbothane, which is pretty expensive. Or I guess we could cut into strips, but yeah, it'll just take a lot of time. Uh, I would definitely recommend that. If you are getting this thing, definitely fill up the case. There's a lot of space underneath the PCB. Fill it up. Ping resin is more in a loose case. That's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, a very empty hollow sound here which again is expected from a plastic board. And then you get a, yeah, pingier sound. So this one, like I said, again, I would 100% recommend filling up that space. I think that it would get annoying otherwise. It, it lingers for a long time too, that, that, that ping. Also, Regala Panda, I need to. I, for, I, I forgot to respond to you about the the sound clip. It always happens whenever uh, I get messages either right before or right after a stream or during. It always like something always falls through the cracks. Oh no! So is that the same clip that you sent in the PM? Yeah, I, I completely forgot. I really apologize. Yeah, so usually around the stream is when I... Yeah, because then I also get a lot of messages in and then it just gets... Oh, one thing to note. I think this is quite important. The Master Keys Pro S has north-facing switches. Whereas the QFR has south-facing. You ask me, you know, which, strictly which one is better, south facing, because that is the cherry standard. Oh no, the gaps are too tight, way too fucking tight. You, you can't even fucking take the keycaps out. Okay, there we go.
Shokan just had a new video today, so don't forget to check that out over here. Surprised no Bauer put his name on this one. I mean, Urgenev have has worked with no Bauer on quite a few projects actually. And so, I'm not surprised, right? This is literally, there's, you know, something that he worked on. He's done cases for the Nova Touch, for the Masterpiece Pro S, I want to say. And the Real Force boards as well. And I think the Leopold FC660C also. Oh my god, I have to take this thing apart uh, after the stream. Alright, now we'll look at the anodizing. Oh my god, it's already been almost two hours. Okay, we will look at the anodizing. Right, let's put this away. Fico is south facing except for the left super and alt, which are north. Okay, that means they probably have some things there. They probably have something on the PCB. That's usually what happens. KB Warriors, how's it going? Did you get it in silver or did you get it in black? Alright, so. Again, this is. Well, I'm assuming. Okay, so. So we already have one. Thing. You'll see there's a scratch over here. I think this is the only noticeable defect. And the finish feels nice. It's got a nice, you know, well, The bottom feels nice. But in terms of anodizing, honestly, this is... There's a white patch here as well. Or yellow patch. Uh, I think I can maybe wipe it off. Now in person, it looks stunning. This is actually one of the better silvers I've seen in person. Uh, if you compare it to... It's like a KVD 75. This silver is shinier. I think you can see it on camera, right? It's got a... Shinier look to it. It is lighter in tone, very slightly, but it is so much shinier. But there's a but. The analyzing is. It, I would give it. A. 6.5 or uh, yeah uh, I would say it is it's actually oh hold on you know what it's quite I would say it's quite close to the Zephyr honestly uh, actually maybe not actually I take that back this is better than that supposed to be purple Zephyr I think about it because I'm remembering the other flaws on that one I remember at first I gave it a six and then I went and then I, I looked at it again and I'm like, yeah, it's not a six. The Zephyr is probably like a five. And yeah, this is six, you know, slightly above average. And it's gonna be better than all your cheap stuff, above average, slightly. But 
you ask me, I would take something from KB fans over this. Like, the Tofu is still, you know, the thing to beat. So, first of all, silver, you can see that the two silver tones don't match perfectly. This has a way, uh, <laughs> way, KB fans, way, finish, no. Uh, the bottom has a more textured look. The top has a... More glossy is not the right word. Smooth, I guess. Yes, you can see that. Look at that. And it has just kind of just that patchiness. You look at this, it's got a darkish. Again, though, it's so fucking shiny that it's hard to see, right? Because if you just shine light on it, okay, you can kind of see it now. It's like a little bruise around here. See that? And it's got very light streaking. You can see there's a line that runs across here. Again, it's so fucking shiny. Okay, it, I'm, I'm struggling to show it on stream. Also, is there something on the lens? What is that? There's a yeah. There's something here, right here. Is that yeah? Is that my monitor? Oh, anyway, whatever. Uh, but you can see there's a line. Okay, now you can see it. See this line over here? My fingers right under it. Yeah. So yes, I would say this is you know. The bottom would be on par with, say, like a newer KB75. The top is a bit better. A little bit. The chamfered edges are not anodized the same. Or at least not polished the same. They still have that... You can see the CNC lines. I don't know if this is intentional or not. I have no idea. Uh, normally, it's not intentional. You see the lines. Oh, again, though, it, the thing is, th if you get the silver, it's just gonna be so shiny that you can't even really tell what the problems are. Okay, you can kind of see now. You can see the lines. Doesn't Norbauer usually do pretty good finishing? The thing is, Norbauer got famous off of his powder coat boards. I I don't think his he he's been famous for the anodizer. And K Wars, yes. You can see on mine it's the same. I don't know if the, does the board move in there? No, right? Yeah. The gap underneath the afro, look at that. See, very big gap here, and then this tiny ass slit here. Hey, brother, how's it going? 8x out of 9, 10. <laughs> yeah, so. Apparently, some people are saying that no bar is having problems with his recent stuff i don't know whether this is affected i don't think so i think these were made way before uh, i believe originally i've already had these on hand for uh, quite some time now something like that and you know i got mine months and months ago it's just that finally got uh, the opportunity to, to show it Yeah, see another line over here. Just on the the streak. Honestly, though, most people would be perfectly happy with this anodizing. They might even call it amazing. Uh, Cause because a lot of people say the Zephyr has an amazing finish, and it doesn't. I'm sorry, it doesn't. And 
And yeah, so I think the Zephyr was the one to finally make me realize, yeah, most people have shit standards when it comes to anodizing. First, it was TGR and and and, and Eve keyboards, right? Where, you know, people are like, oh my god, it's the best. Then, no, it's not. Uh, and then, you know, people are always like, Zephyr is the best. And now that I've seen two in ha- uh, you know, on hand, not terrible right i've seen some terrible ones uh, this is definitely better than the keycap number one for sure uh, remember the purple was it purple or gray 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 and purple yeah this is definitely better in terms of finish tofu is number one and i think that the number two that i've owned would be the txcp but i sold that one I think that's going to be number two. It was a dark gray TXCP with a brass plate. Yeah, that was number two. Tofu and then the TXCP. And then, although if you're counting boards that I've seen and worked with but not owned, then I think the second would actually be the LZ. What was that one called? LZCP. There we go. But please understand that you do not buy things based on brands. I hope people get that. I think that only two brands are consistent in terms of their finishes. And I think that even TX is now not really consistent anymore because he's trying new things. I think right now, Duck is the most consistent. As in, this is not an award for absolute best, but... Almost all duck boards have the same kind of finish, same consistency, so you know what to expect. If you've seen one or two duck boards, you know if you buy one, you're gonna get about the same thing. TX has new finishes, they have a white finish and then they have the antique finishes, so you can't really give it the consistency award anymore because you know there's new things and he still as strict though with QC because all his whiteboards he called them B-stock uh, so you know that at least he, he he still has a keen eye for that a kin eye if you will <laughs> uh, but yeah and then LZ kind of all over the place some boards like the LZCP amazing anodizing CLSM pretty lame anodizing like pretty bad I think the LZCLSM was probably like a 4 or a 5 Do you have a dream board? No. Uh, maybe the cock keyboard, but it depends on when I have time and money to do it. Uh, mostly money. But that's the only one. The rest, honestly, people always ask me like, oh, what's your favorite keyboard? Like, really? I see all these things all the time. I, 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 I th- It's like asking someone who reviews headphones if he has a favorite pair of headphones. I think most people, most of the reviewers are going to be like, no, what kind of question is that? You know, I want one for diff- uh, you know, d- different ones that have different pros and cons and stuff like that. Okay, so we looked at this board already. Uh, I'm just going to put it aside for now. I'll have to take it apart eventually. But let's set it back here. And I'm looking at the desk mat. I don't know if I have time to look at the key blade today. But let's look at the desk mat first. Let's get that out of the way. Oh, no, don't want to show my address. No zesty salsa says, put zeal on blast. But we supposed to, is this the, it's to get the same on the bottom. Can you adjust the bo- board placement? No, you cannot adjust, adjust the board placement. That's the thing. Uh, well, I guess maybe actually, you know what? Maybe. Because it relies on a sandwich. There's nothing really, you don't screw anything in. It relies on a sandwich. And then remember there's a bit of play. Maybe. Maybe. I'll try to remember to test that out. I'm not going to do it on stream though. It's just, you know. We're running out of time. Not negative this year. Nine months. Hello, hello. How's it going? Does the PPT have a bent plate? Or does it help? Oh, the P, the 
The PPT what? I like my ducky yellow more than any other keyboard I've tried. Yeah, I mean there are some pre-builds that feel or sound pretty nice. Uh, and then there are a lot that sound terrible. I think that in my experience, the razor boards actually sound pretty terrible. I've tapped on quite a few razor black widows yet. They are not sounders. Alright. We all are familiar and love acoustics and sounds, right? The act of sounding. Are you guys into sounding as much as I am? Brother says, Anthony's playing the long game. He's been a secret KD fan sponsor for years. I wish. I really wish they would give me something. Just something. Anything. For fuck's sake. Anything. Nope, I don't get anything. The only thing I get is sometimes they'll message me and talk to me. Uh, that's kind of it. I don't really get anything. Like, you know, it's just something. I have so many fucking points for the... Uh, the referral link thing. So I just get, you know, like 100 points. And 100 points is, I think once you do the math, it's 8 cents or 80 cents. 80 cents. 80 cents. 80 cents. <laughs> or 8. 80, I think. But you have to make a purchase. You can't just cash out. You have to buy something from them. And then you can only use one coupon per purchase. So, it, you know, it, if you're talking in terms of worth, it's worth way less than 80 cents. It's maybe worth like. 20 cents once you do all that math. Unable to properly render message. Uh, what did I just show? Oh. <laughs> I think uh I think the bot tried to <laughs> Whoops. Yes, Chinese New Year's Day fans. Knock yourselves out. Let's look at Death Mets. I've got both. Uh, the boneyard or whatever you want to call it and the orange I like the colorway for boneyard but I don't like the fucking skull on it I just wish they had just done the same thing but oh well yes unfortunately that's the way language works isn't it words that are completely innocent Innocuous, is that the word? Harmless? Until people use it a bit too much and uh, and then it becomes loaded. So again, Godspeed best death match so far. I think the Serica one is definitely the best. Like the De Serica Dark? Amazing. Cadet is, uh, I would say it's okay. I mean, the design is cool. The design is cool. Placement is terrible. The suit should be on the right side, not on the left side. Could KBD fans make a ton of money on an aftermarket razor case? <laughs> that is an excellent question. What is it? This is the desk mat. And some people had. Oh my god. Okay, I really need to swap off of this keyboard sometime. So it's really annoying. I don't have a lot of room here. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, there's not a lot of room. I don't know if you can see here now. Not a ton of room over here. And so this keyboard just it just takes up so much space because of how again thick it is. Let's see if I just, if I try to put it back here. See I'm just running through the cable nest and then there's just not enough room. So annoying. Just the fucking chin. Okay, can I put it here? Maybe. Okay. Let's put it there. Let's 
So this is the carbon death mat from oh, Novel Keys. Yeah. I believe this is the correct orientation for it. Straight! <laughs> no, it's 2019, okay? There's no correct orientation. Jesus Christ. Alright, so... Some people mentioned kind of a greenish hue. I definitely see the greenish hue that people are concerned about. Uh, yes. I, I don't know if it's actually greenish, but yes, I can kind of see that. Like this patch here. Kind of. I, I can see that. I know someone was complaining about the boneyard one, so we're going to open that up too. This is the orange one. Uh, maybe. Oh god, no. Hey, brother, 14 months! And he's got a crown beside him too. Is that just for Twitch Prime? That's just for Twitch Prime, right? What the hell? Yeah. It's just Twitch Prime. But! The crown that he has is 14 months. That's the longest, oldest we have today. Uh, I think he might. Even, oh, I think God is also 14 months. But I think everybody subscribed first. Time uh, to unbox Carbon Round 1. I, I, I thought about it. I thought about unboxing it and then selling it. I don't know if I'll keep it. Because I, I'd rather sell it off and then purchase the Boneyard somehow. I think I, I prefer that. Oh my god. Okay. So, people complaining about the white one or the beige one being kind of green this is way worse than this so this is you know i can sort of see like a greenish hue to it i don't know if my, it's my eyes playing tricks on me maybe i just need to calibrate my eyes but this oh my god this is definitely greenish or limeish right like can, can you kind of tell so This is white, and look at this. This is more necro than necro. Okay, beige, beige something. Cream color. Okay, cream and brown. All right, see, so this is XDA Scrabble. See, so, <laughs> or, oh hey Anthony, you know what? Keycap said is a really nice cream that we're might we all familiar with. GMK Carbon. Uh, I might be able to bring something out though. Okay, so this is quite possibly my one of my favorite colors ever for keycaps, or at least with, in terms of GMK. This cream or beige or sand color is beautiful. Some GMK carbon. So this is the carbon desk mat. Oh gosh. Now let's compare it. Does it look green now? Greenish, not green green. Like, I'm not saying it looks like a fucking uh, keycap uh, switch puller. Not green green, but it has the kind of dead. Yeah. See, look at that. Do you, do, you, do you see that now? This is carbon. This is white. This is carbon. Isn't that green issue? <laughs> Did you order an Necromat by mistake? Oh no! Still a smaller mistake than... Than originally did by saving Necro. <clears throat> did Jessica make that? Get those paper plates out! I actually don't have any paper plates. Maybe I should buy some. I have to, right? If I want to be a designer. A designer. 
Man, I remember when when people were complaining about how Master was calling Jessica a designer uh, during Jim Kid Plum because they're like, she has no. Uh, what's the word? At the time, I guess now it's still saying, but at the time, she had no credibility, no. What's the word I'm looking for? Credentials, credentials, yes. Good, yes. Yeah, she had nothing. Absolutely nothing. But they called her a designer, keycap designer, designer. And then, and I guess, you know, after that with Necro, people like, well, I worked on Plum. And, and then, you know, it, it was a fuck up, but hey, I'm gonna fix it with Necro. Whoops. Yes, we're all keycap designers. We're all keycap designers on this blessed day. But yes, okay, so if you think this is kind of bad, okay, then check this out. This is even more just kind of that undead color that I was talking about. Look at that. And then you look further down. See, it's the problem is that it's not cream and gray. It is definitely, even the gray has some greenish to it. So, I think it would be okay if it were not a GMK carbon desk mat, right? If you're getting this for Necro, hey, this will work great with Necro. I'm not even kidding. This will actually be pretty, you know, good with Necro. I'm not even kidding. Uh, because they both belong in the trash can. Uh, no. Because, yeah, it has that, that, that real undead color to it. But the problem with this is that it's supposed to be for GMK Carbon. And we all know that GMK Carbon has a very warm hue. And this is not warmish. This is, yeah, very cool and cold and dead. Regardless, I might still be interested if you want to sell it. Are you talking about GMK Carbon? Round one. It's round one. I thought it would lose all value when round two happened, but round two still has, uh, didn't sell that many. Trina Gamer C? Yeah, exact same thing. Like, I think it's... it's Yeah, it's quite obvious on on here. So let's, let's try the Jessica method. Oh, well, we'll meet her halfway. How's that? We won't go all the way. We'll, we'll, we'll. <sighs> See? It's got this sickly greenish. Yeah. Again, it's fine if you're not trying to match it with carbon. But I'm assuming because you got it for... Because you got it, you probably want it to match it with carbon. Man for full size boards, yeah. Or the way I would use it is ah, much better. You get a nicer surface, and it looks nicer. See, here's another thing that I I don't like. That's why I... This is the last... Was this the last Nauki's Desmet I bought? I think so. So, another reason. Their blacks aren't truly black. See, this is the HyperX Desmet. Ah, the mouse pad. The HyperX Fury S or something like that. And then, okay. And I guess even worse for the... So see, this is the blackest black we have here. And then you have the Boneyard Desmat. 
It's like an off black kind of deal. And then it honestly gets quite bad for the, the uh, I don't think the renders made it look like that, right? But now check out the carbon dash matte, the, big, the orange one. That's a navy blue. That's not black. Is this supposed to be a navy blue? I don't think so, right? I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be black. Let's take a look, shall we? This mouse, yes. Oh, this board's not plugged in. God damn it. Uh, maybe I can get there without typing anything. Oh, there's no renders. Actually, it does look. Oh no. Okay. Oh my god. Yes, I thought it was supposed to be gray. Yeah, even in the picture. Actually, now that now that I've seen the real thing, it actually does look navy. It actually does look like a faded. Like a faded jeans, faded dark denim. All right, look at that. Yeah. And yes, it is quite different in, or at least, you know, different enough from this side over here. This side at least looks a bit, yeah, this, they're trying to make it great. It just looks bluish. Uh, this is why I stopped buying. I'm, I'm sorry, but yeah, this is. So I'll either sell them or give them away. I'm not going to keep them. Hemon Desmet, what color am I getting now? See, yeah, I, the red one looks cool, but I don't trust the colors to come out nice. I, I really don't, I don't know, I, the design is super nice. I'm not even gonna lie, the design is super nice and on its own, the Desmet looks pretty good in pictures, but if you're trying to match it with a keycap set, I would get it to not match with a keycap set, that's what I think. Because they're trying to go for the same tones and unfortunately, yeah, they work very well. You don't want them, says NGB. Oh yes, nice mouse indeed. NGB, have you bought any deathmatch recently? The Varmilla ones are up on Mass Drop. Anyone's interested? Them up enough. Damn it. You guys would like the bone one, but no bone set, so rip. I know, man. Do, do you still want this? <laughs> I could you could buy it from me. It doesn't even match the bone set anyway, so. Like I said, it would look nice with Necro, and you have Necro. So, hey, if you want it. <laughs> Let me know. Ian, how's it going? Ian, are you celebrating Chinese New Year? That is the question. Because because I do have an accurate indicator. Reunion dinner? Okay, well, happy Chinese New Year. Happy Chinese New Year to you. And VPR as well. Are you are you doing anything for Chinese New Year? Uh, reunion dinner, except dinner is just me and my parents. That's good though. I wish I could do that. Uh, my family started to do that as well. They Now for a reunion dinner, it's just my immediate family. 
So my two younger, two of my younger siblings, and uh, my parents. So no more relatives and stuff. Yeah, VPR the greenish shield actually would work nicely with uh, <laughs> with necro. See, look at that. It definitely has a bluish hue to it. Uh, actually, kind of hard to see now, but yeah, see. Compared to the black stitching on the side, yeah, yeah. I can't believe I spent so much money on these fucking desk mats too. Like I've bought so many from them. Cause yeah, I bought them all really close to each other. I should have waited. I should have waited for more to come in first before I uh, decide on the rest. Oh well. Okay. And he says, "Hamon makes me think of processed meat and menstruation. Two of the best things." If you're fucking disgusting, I'm just kidding. Menstruation is not bad, okay? It's a natural human thing. Processed meat, maybe not. Although some processed meats are pretty nice. <laughs> In the same way, some menstruation is pretty nice. No. Uh, I think that matching colors across radically different materials, difficult proposition. I know some people in NYC who print gray goods, raw fabric, and have issues routinely matching patterns even across. No, talisman solutions, I understand that, which is why I think when you're trying to make a desk mat, and this is for all you budding designers out there, future Jessicas, hello. If you want to design a desk mat to go with a keycap set, do not use the exact same colors. Try to find something that'll complement the keycap set. We're not asking for the keycap set in fabric form. Make something that will go well with it. Like for Hamon. Maybe instead of making a red mat, make something that looks like a cutting board or something. Right? Or something that just looks like a big dining table. Or just something. Just whatever. Right? Or... Think, you know, something like an aluminum can, you know, with the, the what is this, whatever, just something that'll go well with it, but it's not it, if that makes sense. Right? If you have a red shirt, do you buy red pants to go with it? No, you don't. You find something that'll go well with the red pant, a red shirt. A pair of black pants, or a pair of chinos, uh, khaki colored chinos, or something, right? You're not gonna go out, oh, I have a red shirt, I'm gonna go get some red Adidas track pants. Tripoloski, you know, no. Blue jacket, blue jean jacket, and jeans, bro. Yes, don't forget the denim fedora. Manchester United shirt is good enough. Yes. Because if you can use it as a floor mat, like they're doing in the EPL, then you can use it as a table mat or a desk mat. Oh God, please don't share that. I'm always afraid of people sharing clips outside of the server because I don't, <laughs> you know, I do, I think I do a really good job of keeping everything, you know, either inside the stream or, or you know, in the server. Uh, and I'm always worried that that shit will go, get out. Actually why I'm, oh yeah. All right, so, 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 uh, it is 9 p.m., so, I was hoping I would have time to do the Keyblade, but I think it's getting late. I still have assignments to work on for classes tomorrow, uh, and I have to call my family tonight for Chinese New Year. I haven't seen them in, I haven't celebrated Chinese New Year for six years now. And so the least I can do is call home. Uh, so I'm going to do that later tonight. And I still have messages and stuff. To, and regardless, I need to remember to respond. To, to look at the... I actually did look at the video, but I looked at it on my phone. And so I didn't really do anything. Yes, yes. Just as I was saying, 
I need to respond to you on Discord. And I have uh, Smurf Patrol to reply to as well. Oh, there's a the ping one. Can you put it in the dis Can you put it on Discord? Cause I'm the the thing is gone now. I can't scroll up to find it anymore. I think yeah, it's gone now. I think yes. And oh no, did I mess up the title? I hope I didn't. Okay, no, I didn't. Let's look for someone to raid. And uh, thank you everyone for the resubs. I know there were some bugs with the <laughs> subbing notification, but whatever. Thank you all so much. I really appreciate it. And let's look for. Oh no, is the camera kind of? Oh no. Right. Mr. Horologist is live, so that's where we're going. You don't get to decide. Where we're going, we're all going there. But before that, let's run the credits. Oops. Also, did you guys see the new keyboard pictures are on the intro slideshow thing? Hey, brother. Happy trans new year to you too, uh, if you celebrate. Yeah. And one 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 from Talisman Solutions. Thank you so much. So here's some bits for your stream. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope everyone has a great Lunar New Year. Even if you're not celebrating, go out and get some chasu, some beef noodle soup, ramen, whatever you want to get, or head down to your uh, local. China town or Korea town, a little Korea or whatever, and there's probably some festivities going on. Go celebrate, have fun. Uh, for all the people actually celebrating it again, happy Chinese New Year, Sing and Kwaila, Gong Chi Fa Chai, Wan Su Rui, Nian Nian Yuri, all the wishes. That's all in Chinese. So I'm sorry, Korean people. I don't know what you guys say for Lunar New Year. Uh, Japanese people as well. I don't know. Uh, but oh, I was supposed to run the credits. Damn it! And uh, okay, so Andrew, Monkey Spittle, Beadlocks, Dibbing Dick, Tasman Solutions, Herman Butter, Regala Panda, Bug Whisper. Who else? VPR. This is VPR says wife was born on Chinese New Year, so she celebrates her birthday on Chinese New Year every year. But she's mad sick. Bring a mask today. Voice gone. Pink eye. Oh no. Oh no. Well, I hope you still, you know, bring your, maybe bring your kids somewhere to celebrate. I don't know. Green Savage, Chinese New Year Ultra Boost, come on February 7th. They go grave. Come on. Oh yes. I do wish it weren't so much red. Like maybe something else with it would be nice. And who else? Ian, happy Chinese New Year again. Striker as well. And so yeah, lots of resubs. Holy Pandas aren't great. Striker, Panda Water, 100 milli, Zoology, not negative. Hammer Butter. I said I'm better already. Uh, and then we're gonna wait on this thing because it's Alex! Happy Chinese New Year! I hope you're doing something. I know you're gonna be working because fortunately that's the way it is, right? But I hope you do something. Something. Cheers, Tasman Solution. Thank you, thank you. We're waiting on Okay, we've got new follows. The Crocs, thank you. And Holy Pandas aren't great. Subs, Kelly Britton. And then Chewy, Alex, NGB, Hair Butter, 100 Bits. Red Envelope Money. Hey, thank you so much. Gong Si Fat, right? Thank you, thank you. Uh, let's raid Mr. Neurologist. I hope I spell his name correctly. Yes. And Grail, Devness, Purple, Devin Dick, Chase. Thank you so, so, so much. Happy Chinese New Year, everybody. I will see you all on Friday. Friday.